Hello and welcome to G. Jones Travels. We are currently flying over Chicago, Illinois. We'll be seeing many landmarks including Willis Tower, John Hancock Center, Millennium Park, Navy Pier, Exploring the Chicago River, and the Museum of Science and Industry. So I hope you will stick until the very end of this video. We have so many things to see today. Chicago has 2.7 million people as of 2021. Chicago remains the third largest city behind New York and Los Angeles. We are now approaching the Willis Tower, which is a very tall black building that you see right in front of you. The Willis Tower is a 110-story building, the 12th tallest building in the world and the second tallest building in North America. The original vision for the Willis Tower came to life in 1969 when Sears and Company decided it needed a central office space for its 350,000 employees. Construction began in 1970 and it took three years to complete. It was originally called the Sears Tower, but in 2009 the building was renamed Willis Tower after the Willis Group holding bought it. Willis Tower was purchased by Blackstone in 2015 for 1.3 billion dollars. We are now going to be traveling on to the John Hancock Center. In the meantime I hope you are enjoying this video and I hope you're going to click that subscribe button and then like and share the video as well. That will really help out this channel. Girl, that would be amazing. I would I really appreciate it. We are actually flying over the Millennium Park. We are going to come right back to it very soon. And I'll tell you much more about that park later then. Right now in front of you, that's called the Trump Tower. We will not be talking about politics. So don't even bring it up in the comments below. But I do think it's an absolutely amazing building, especially in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Okay, so in front of you, that's the John Hancock Center, the really tall black building. The John Hancock Center has some of the fastest ev elevators in the world. It can take passengers from the ground floor to the 95th floor in 40 seconds. Each of the building's X-shaped cross braces are 18 stories tall. The building is so tall that the air at the top is 6 degrees cooler than the air at its base. People actually live in the Hancock Center. There is a private supermarket on the 44th floor and a swimming pool on the same floor. Famous people who live in the building include talk show host Jerry Springer, Jerry, 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 and comedian Chris Farley. Our next destination that we're going to be seeing in a few moments is called Navy Pier. Navy Pier was actually originally called Municipal Pier when it opened in 1916. You can see Navy Pier right in front of you. It's on the right hand side of your screen. It was meant to provide a place for public recreation and to serve as a shipping hub for both cargo and passenger ships. The Queen of England visited it in 1959. It was the first time a reigning British monarch visited Chicago. The pier once hosted the Great Lakes largest passenger ship. By the way, if you are interested in learning about more about all of these landmarks that we are seeing today and if you want travel ideas, I'm going to be leaving descriptions or links to different websites of all of these places down below. So all you need to do is go click on the link down below. We are now going to be touring the Chicago River. By the way, that's called Link Point Tower. The building right in front of you, an amazing building, I think. 
The Chicago Ring River is the only river in the world that permanently flows backwards. Just to tell you some more fun facts about Chicago, Walt Disney was actually born in Chicago. I'm sure many of you already know about the great Chicago fire that happened in 1871. Well, here's a slightly fun story I thought. William Rand and Andrew McNally rescued two ticket printing machines by burying them in the stand. Three days later, they had the machines up and running in a rented space. More fun facts about Chicago. The first ever televised presidential debate occurred in Chicago in 1960 between Senator John F. Kennedy and Vice President Richard Nixon. This is almost going to be the end of our Chicago River Tour. I know it's very, very short, but I have so many things I would like to show all of you about Chicago. If you would like me to do a tour on just the Chicago River, I'll gladly do that. I can point out some of the incredible buildings that are around the river. In the meantime, I want you to continue watching this video and enjoy the incredible scenery. I'm using an Xbox Series S, by the way, in case you've been wondering. I will tell you about our next destination, which is Millennium Park, very soon, once we get closer to it. We'll be there in probably 5 or 10 seconds or so. Also, if you want me to do a tour of any other city in the world, just let me know and I will definitely take it into consideration. Just tell me in the comments and I will look at them. We are actually very close to the Millennium Park right now. It's actually right in front of you. On the right hand side, you can see a great big stage. During the summertime, you can listen to the Grant Park Symphony for free. There it is, it's that silver, fancy looking thing. Also, on the right hand side, that road is called Michigan Avenue. It's a very, very popular road. The Art Institute of Chicago is also pretty much right down below. We actually flew right by it. We're now headed towards that great big stadium, which is called Soldier Field. This is where the Bears, the Chicago Bears, play. The field was built in 1924. There are currently 74,000 permanent seats. We'll do a little flyover. And then we're going to go back a little bit to the Millennium Park from a different view this time. Also, I'm real curious, if you're still listening, what park do you think is the best park in the world? Do you like Millennium Park? Do you like Central Park in New York City? Is there some other park that you like? I'm curious, tell me in the comments below, and I might even do a tour of parks, world city, worldwide parks, we'll see. Our final destination today is going to be the Museum of Science and Industry. We'll be there in probably around 20 or 30 seconds, something like that. In real life, it's going to take you about 20 to 30 minute drive from Chicago, depending on traffic. 
Museum of Science and Industry has more than 400,000 square feet of exhibit space. It also has a five-story dome movie theater. By the way, speaking of museums, down below, Field Museum on the right, we just passed the Shedd Aquarium, and on the left was the Adler Planetarium. I've been to all of those places. Highly recommend you go to those if you have an opportunity in real life. Going on to the Museum of Science and Industry, it is home to more than 35,000 artifacts and there have been more than 190 million visitors since the opening in 1933. If you are interested in visiting any of these museums, I'm going to leave the links to their websites in the description down below. I'm going to remain quiet now until we approach the Museum of Science and Industry. I hope you are enjoying this incredible scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on my Xbox Series S. To your left is the Museum of Science and Industry. We're going to do a circle around the, the museum. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will consider subscribing, liking, and sharing.